Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel Vishal VFX and today in this Ghost Rider series the first thing which we need to do in a pipeline is to track so we are here in 3D Equalizer to track the uh, face of the character so that we can replace a CG, uh, CG skull over here so definitely you need to understand that uh, Nuke is not so good in object tracking and definitely there is a uh, object tracker geo which is licensed bait so we can hardly get that in from nuke uh, so what i'm uh, what we are supposed to do we are supposed to go in 3d equalizer because it's gonna give us really a uh, good uh, tracking information or else you can go on uh, go to pf track or else you can go to synesthesis uh, whichever tracking software do you want uh, which is uh, good for you but definitely 3d equalizer is the best and it is uh, mostly used in everywhere in the industry even the big, 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 biggest, biggest studio like Double Negative, Frame Store, or ILM, uh, any of them uh, uses this software only. Okay, so let get uh, get start over here. Let me delete this point. Just peak information. Okay, so you need to uh, add your scan over here, and uh, you just need to uh, add the information that what whatever you have in the lens. So right now I just know that my focal length is 18. I don't know the film back and the film back height. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let the 3D equalizer decide uh, what is it, okay? So first thing that we need to do is uh, understand that uh, whenever you track something, uh, you can see over here, this is in a camera tracking. So in order to like, uh, the, we're going to create two cameras, one would be for uh, like this oh, entire scene and the second would be for uh, the object. So I'm just going to take add new point group. So definitely now you can see this is an object track and we do we can have the points over here so let's try to track the simplest point first and we definitely need eight points or uh, like at the least we need eight points of the uh, of our uh, face so that we, it gets the proper information and uh, this is going to be real quick uh, in order to uh, like create a point control click over here so that you have a point over here and adjust the pattern box this is a pattern box and this is a search box which is similar in any tracking software wherever you go even you go in nuke fusion or anywhere this is uh, this is gonna be similar only any tracking software uh, before that i just need to do one thing is like uh, export my buffer compression overwrite so that and i'm gonna import this one so that uh, it doesn't cache every time okay okay something is wrong hold for a second so i did that uh, right now uh, there was an existing uh, buffer over here over there so i just deleted it and i exported it again so now let us take a track which would be the we're gonna select the points which are let us remove this where uh, i think so yeah that was disturbing uh, quite a lot middle click to move it and uh, scroll for a zoom in zoom out okay uh, let us see which are the tracks we, uh, which go are visible for the entire uh, frame so hardly the forehead tracks and the, uh, this one and this one is mostly visible for the entire frame as well as this and the nose two tracks and this one over here so we go, we have plenty of points so let us start with the forehead first because uh, and be quick really quick we just not gonna click on the track we just gonna go frame by frame so that if the track gets jumped and you can do definitely switch it to center 2d so that you know the where is the track is the tracker is going So this was quite easy. We got uh, like a good track as you can see. Okay, let's switch to another tracking. Take the nose point. So 
so this is getting slightly out uh, we can use the uh, num lock arrows to get it back to the uh, like as you can see we can move it move the track with the help of that and just small small we're just gonna fix it So you can see this, we we'll fix it. Always try to track the middle portion of any tracker point. So let me track uh, quickly the power points for you in order to make the video short so now you can see we have all uh, we have tracked our point successfully so the uh, what we need to do is uh, only one thing is there that uh, you need to change your uh, we by mistake uh, track the points in camera so there is nothing to worry we're just gonna change it to object and we're just gonna change this to camera so that uh, uh, the points gets into the object tracking okay and uh, alt c for the solving your camera which is uh, the deviation browser over here and you can see we have dragged it oh, where is the deviation is it yeah here is it uh, you can see that the track is really good which is uh, uh, below one so definitely in you if the track is below one so we are, it's a sign that uh, the track is really good now what we are supposed to do uh, we're just gonna do quickly export this into maya for that export the project to maya and i'm just gonna save it to like this so the project is saved right now i'm just gonna open maya meanwhile let maya open so the now, now the maya is open i'm just gonna quickly just import a track which is happen to be this gr track one so now you can see the track is is quite big it might be because the unit uh, unit of maya is not set we need to change the unit of maya we'll go to settings uh, this is me mm and we need to change this to centimeter as you can see this is now perfectly aligned so now you can see we the locators are really moving good so what we need to do is just place our object over there and we are then good to go let uh, before that let us save our project save as scene my art. like this is tracking gr track underscore version zero one so the, now the file is saved we need to import our uh, model which it's supposed to be here this is oh this is no. let me check where is it i have imported my skull now you can see the skull is over here so we just need to place it over here We'll just match it. From every side. Switching between a software is really an issue. <laughs> every software work space is different right now what we need to do in order to have a proper understanding how it's supposed to be we just gonna like take take this frame and we're gonna scroll uh, sorry uh, increase the size so that we can place our skull properly and uh, Now 
where my scan is gone. Um, let me share, select my camera. Looking through camera, that that what's been to change. Okay, so where the frame is? It's supposed to be here. Uh, slightly matched you need to check the placement over here as well meanwhile that uh, the, the locators are near the face so now they are near the face slightly scaling the object again this can take slight bit of time for you but definitely it's worth it and we gonna switch to x-ray mode so where is it x-ray I need to check where is it yeah sorry in shading x-ray so we just need to match the eyes a bit closer okay and definitely the geometry would be dif uh, slightly look different because uh, this is the actual geometry of a man then the character standing is uh, doesn't have a good jawline and uh, that's a slight issue nothing else we'll just take it slightly up now so let's close the shading and this is what we have so what we need, we are supposed to do is take our locators, which is happened to be this. Select a skull. Okay, we'll go to animation and parent them. So when you can see the track is going really good. So this is the way you can track object tracking way and. Uh, Okay, why, 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 why? The frame range is too much. I think so. That's it. It's a frame range. Uh, frame range lag. Nothing else. Let us set the frame range to ninety. Ninety. So now you can see we are really good with tracking, and definitely we can just uh, place it much better and get the uh, uh, result. Let, let us me just kill it again and uh, slightly take this object to the X like this and scale it slightly so this is a tracking information we are good with the track okay do the same thing again constraint parent now we can see sorry it didn't happen okay we just did it to camera my, my bad ah uh, this is cool and much better than before As you can see the track is really good and we have our object tracked and uh, I have one more thing to show is I have downloaded the skull color as well oh, sorry I need to import it and uh, let us save our project uh, Maya does an auto save it's better to always click ctrl ss and uh, import skull color where is it this is over here right now this is too small not this one 
let me import that one so i have imported my skull uh, neck part like what what do you say neck and we just going to place it like this over here and definitely this part this bigger part is not required i'm just going to delete those Center pivot again. So now we have our neck as neck geo as well, and definitely there would be a fire, so there is no need to do anything to it. Let us leave this like that for a while. So this was how we are supposed to track in uh, with the help of 3D equalizer and place our object in Maya. Let's do one more thing that uh, let us just uh, import our paint scan so that we can have uh, much better understanding of this. So let us take our paint scan. Okay. So now we can see. Okay. Use image sequence so that it uh, takes everything. So now you can see the skull is really above for us and uh, it's not really close to the this character. So what we can do is we can cheat on this thing slightly we we gonna delete this and uh, constrain and take it slightly like this and slightly over here Definitely down would be a much better and uh, let us parent them and see how does it look. Ah, this is slightly better that we have skull and uh, it's looking quite big compared to the uh, the body and we need to take care of that as well so that's the important thing right now so let us take our geometry again <laughs> we have to delete this every time uh, like this is face and slightly small uh, this much is okay take this again parent constraint parent constraint so now this is uh, really good according to our footage which is close and yeah much better so now we can proceed to further stages such as fume effects we can uh, just let us uh, add sh some texture as well uh, later on and then we can uh, emit a fire which is really important so now we have the neck geometry as well as the geometry of the skull and anything i think so we can just reduce the size of the, that as well later on but definitely that's not the worry for right now so i hope you guys love this video and do please guys click on the subscribe button please 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 thank you